<laughs> Here we go. Holy Spirit, I was surprised this morning when I closed my eyes to pray to find that my first thought was, I am unworthy of you. Contained within that thought is the belief in separation and inherent guilt. As I hold this thought out to the light, what would you like to share? And Holy Spirit says, How can you be unworthy of yourself? Surely this thought must be based on illusion. For I am the essence of you. All that is me is coming from you now. There is no separation. So, of course, what Holy Spirit is doing here in just a couple of sentences is uh, going directly to the core to show me that my thought, that I am unworthy of the Holy Spirit, that my thought absolutely must be false and cannot make any sense at all. This is what I call Holy Spirit logic. The Holy Spirit is showing me this thought doesn't make any sense at all. And in fact, today it amazes me um, how much I held to this thought in years like 2005 when um, I was having frequent conversations with Holy Spirit. Not only was I having the conversations that we see posted at ReginaDonacres.com, but I was also in the process of receiving NTI at the time. So I was spending all morning literally in conversation with Holy Spirit, this beautiful, beautiful, loving, wise voice in my mind. And that's the clincher, in my mind. And I still thought I was separate from it. I still thought I was unworthy of it. I didn't see that the love was me. That's amazing to me. It's amazing that it could be so obvious and that I still missed it. But that's how blinded we are by these false thoughts in our mind. This is why A Course in Miracles teaches us that what we need to do is um, find and let go of the obstacles to love's presence. Obviously, that means that love is present within us now. But the obstacles to love's presence blind us to the obvious. And I think there's no better proof than me. <laughs> There's no better proof than me um, how ridiculously blinded we can be. I mean, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thoughts and words coming through me every day, obviously from the heart of love. Great, great wisdom that was way beyond any wisdom that I consciously held, and yet even though it was coming right into my mind, um, I still denied that it was me, that it was of me, that I was one with it. And Holy Spirit's just pointing the ridiculousness of that out to me here, because at some point, at some point we have to look at these false ideas and see that they are false, see that they are ridiculous, and we need to let go of them, and we need to accept the truth. And the truth is, guys... The truth is that we are love. That is what we are. So Holy Spirit is saying, how can you be unworthy of yourself? You can see what a ridiculous idea that is. How can you be unworthy of yourself? Surely this thought must be based on illusion, for I am the essence of you. All that is me is coming from you now. There is no separation. And then I said, I have been haunted since answering a question about death yesterday. And this is a question we went over two weeks ago in our last Holy Spirit Guides. I have been haunted since answering a question about death yesterday. I think I am haunted because the answer came from thoughts in my mind, and yet I don't understand them. I cannot imagine 
the complexity of which they spoke. It left me feeling afraid that I do not know anything. That leaves me feeling completely out of control. And I'm laughing at this now, and I'll tell you why I'm laughing. You know, again, we're seeing, um, I guess we're seeing what we could call progress. This was in November of 2005, so about three years ago. And notice that I said, <laughs> notice that I said that I was afraid of these words that came through my mind because of the complexity. But what really scared me was that they left me feeling that I do not know anything, and that left me feeling completely out of control. Well, what's funny now is that now I actually get comfort from realizing I don't know anything. Um, hold on, Jasmine just walked in the room. Did you want to say good night, my love? Good night, oh. kiss. Sleep well. Okay, she's gone to bed. <laughs> but what's funny is then um, the thought that I don't know anything scared me. It scared me a lot because, of course, um, I felt in control through understanding, through feeling like the thinking mind had a handle on things. And I was starting to realize that maybe I didn't know anything, and that was scaring me. Um, but now, you know, if we advance three years later, now I actually get a lot, a lot of comfort out of the same idea. Um, whenever I can feel stress starting to rise in my mind or fear starting to rise in my mind, I realize the reason I'm feeling stressed or the reason I'm feeling fearful is because I think I know something. Um, and so as soon as I realize, wait a minute, I don't know anything. <laughs> Now I get great relief from that. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I don't know anything. Uh, because if I knew what I thought I knew, then I would have, you know, these limits that I believe in and, and you know, all this fearful stuff, you know, would be true. <laughs> so I realize now that what my thinking mind thinks it knows, um, you know, isn't helpful. And that is where my fear and my stress comes from. And so I'm really grateful when I remember that I don't know. Because when I remember that I don't know, I open up to God. I open up to any possibility. I open up to things that I would never imagine. That brings me great comfort. <laughs> so you can see that in a few years um, I have changed. But at this point... At this point, in November of 2005, I was just beginning to realize that maybe I didn't know anything and it was scaring me because it was feeling like the control that I believed in was being taken away from me. And, and I was afraid of loss of control, afraid that if I wasn't in control, something bad was going to happen. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what Holy Spirit says to that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let me read the question again and then we'll go into the answer. The question, I have been haunted since answering a question about death yesterday. I think I am haunted because the answer came from thoughts in my mind, and yet I don't understand them. I cannot imagine the complexity of which they spoke. It left me feeling afraid that I do not know anything. That leaves me feeling completely out of control. And Holy Spirit says, let go of your desire to understand. Let go of your desire to make sense of it all, to make peace out of chaos. This is an opportunity to simply forgive. And at this point in my life, you know, November 2005, I would say, who knew, at least for me, who knew that forgiveness was surrender? I don't think I knew. I was just beginning to learn. You know, who knew that forgiveness and surrender are synonymous? That letting go of trying to control, letting go of trying to have self-will, letting go of thinking I know is the same thing as forgiveness. And I didn't know that then. But obviously this is what Holy Spirit is beginning to teach me. I said, to let go, I need to quit thinking about it and quit trying to figure it out. 
<laughs> it's funny now. Notice that I did get it. I was just afraid of it, but I did get it. I did understand that Holy Spirit was asking me to quit thinking and quit trying to figure it out. So I, I got what I was being asked to do. I just didn't like it. <laughs> But I wasn't stupid, just resistant. <laughs> to let go, I'm saying, I know what this let go thing is that you're asking me to do. <laughs> to let go, I need to quit thinking about it and quit trying to figure it out. It's funny how scary that is. I'm afraid of losing face because I cannot defend what I wrote. And again, I'm referring to a message I wrote the previous day. I'm um, really at someone else's request answering someone else's question. And I didn't understand the message myself at that time. So I was very afraid of it. Holy Spirit's answer. Don't worry about defending it. Remember the source of those words. If you are asked to explain them and you have let go of the desire to defend them, the words needed to explain will be given you in that moment. And it will be perfect and effortless for you. Now you can imagine that at this time, that idea was making my little heart beat like crazy. The idea that I didn't need to understand that if, if, if I was ever asked, I would just have to open my mouth and then... Then the words would come that would explain. Um, again, this is a, a, a that total loss of control that the thinking mind thinks it has. And for me at this point, that was a scary idea. Holy Spirit said, Now let all thought about that writing go. Trust that it is serving its purpose. And I said, I'm scared, but okay. I am willing to do this. So here we go with that little bit of willingness. I am willing to do this. I am willing to trust you. I am willing. Please help me. This feels like a biggie. <laughs> it feels like letting go of Regina. <laughs> but I am willing for that too. <laughs> So you can tell that I'm starting to get it. By this point, I've been studying A Course in Miracles for a year and a half, and it looks like I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to realize that I am being asked to let go of Regina. I'm starting to realize that I am being asked to let go of the control that I think I have in the thinking mind. Um, and I'm scared, but the good news is I give my willingness. And isn't that what Holy Spirit asks us to do?